fait, on, on fait comme ça. Merci, euh, mais, cher Monsieur le euh, Vice-Premier Ministre, uh, Ladies and Gentlemen, good evening. We are after a very successful NATO summit, and I think nothing would make me and us a greater pleasure than to be part of this important uh, gesture of ally solidarity coming from, from Luxembourg. Today we mark a major investment in NATO space situational awareness capacity. Over the last few years, we have seen fascinating developments in space. Launch to orbit costs have plummeted, new technologies and new actors are radically changing the competitive landscape, and NATO allies increasingly rely on space for our military operations and missions. In a more competitive geopolitical environment, space is becoming increasingly congested and contested. Luxembourg's 6.7 million euro contribution will provide the Alliance with a clearer picture of the domain of space. Our 360 degree approach to security cannot be limited to the four points of the compass. We need to expand our knowledge and our understanding beyond the Karman line, the point at which we leave the comfort of Earth's atmosphere and venture into outer space. NATO is an important forum for allies to share information, increase interoperability, and coordinate our actions in space. In London, in 2019, allied leaders declared space as an operational domain alongside land, sea, air, and cyberspace. A year later, we agreed to establish the NATO Space Center. That center, based in Germany, supports our operations and missions, and enhances the exchange of information across the Alliance. Today, NATO leaders underline the importance of space for NATO's deterrence and defense. They also highlighted threats posed to the space domain and the need to strengthen our understanding and awareness of what is happening in space. NATO's strategic space situational awareness system is a clear commitment to the growing importance of space. This is a great pilot project that will help us better understand space objects and space events and their effects across all domains. As chair of the Innovation Board in NATO, I am particularly pleased that this project will expand our range of partners in the private sector. Defense companies and non-defense companies, large and small, will help, help us develop and use novel technologies for this initiative. Chef François, Je tiens à vous remercier vous-même, euh, votre équipe et le gouvernement du Grand Duché de Luxembourg pour l'engagement de votre pays dans l'Alliance. Pour votre soutien indéfectible au développement des capacités spatiales et pour votre engagement constant à la sensibilisation concernant les implications sécuritaires de l'espace. Le Luxembourg a été l'un des douze membres fondateurs de l'Alliance transatlantique en 1949. Cet investissement clairement démontre une fois de plus l'important du Luxembourg en tant qu'allié et comme un pays qui a un profil très, très précis et contouré. Et j'apprécie énormément vos contributions à l'idée de modernisation technologique sans cesse de notre alliance. Nous sommes très gré à vous à votre pays, et j'offre mes meilleurs voeux pour la réussite de ce projet. Merci à vous, and thank you to all our friends and colleagues for making this event possible, including for a wonderful crew here trying to capture something that Francois will have to say in a minute. Thank you all. Dear <coughs> Deputy Secretary General, uh, Joanna, we uh, are an alliance based on values, and principles, and I would like again to reaffirm Luxembourg's commitment to NATO and the principle of a fair burden sharing. The NATO 2020, uh, 2030 sorry, reflection process is essential in ensuring that the alliance remains militarily strong, becomes politically even stronger, and adopts a more global approach. Despite the current crisis, 
Luxembourg remains committed to further increasing its defense expenditures in a sustainable way, even knowing that Luxembourg, because of the size of its country and the limited possibilities that we have uh, to really invest in, especially in military forces, uh, it's complicated for us, but we will do it then on other ways. Amongst other capability developments, I would like to stress that we are actively working on the launch of a new government, a governmental observation satellite. We recently published our first cyber defense strategy aiming to develop new cyber capabilities in Luxembourg, and we will initiate the acquisition of 80 new military vehicles. I also asked my team to develop a space defense strategy by the end of the year. And space is indeed vital to the security and prosperity of Luxembourg and its allies and remains a key pillar to a coherent alliance deterrence and defense posture. These examples show that we are attaching great importance to our country's contribution to the, strengthening, to the strengthening of NATO where it is possible. This year's NATO summit presents space as a key domain, playing a crucial role in our efforts to adapt for the future. While the Alliance is increasingly relying on space to support its operations, missions and activities, space is also becoming an increasingly congested, contested and competitive environment that calls for closer monitoring to mitigate threats of to peace and security. Having heard about the possibility to support the NATO Situation Center with the development of a strategic space situational awareness system, I decided to contribute decisively to project by offering to provide the, the needed funding as an effective contribution to the Alliance. This capacity would further improve NATO headquarters and allies' ability to efficiently detect and track human-made and natural, natural threats, predict and assess the risks involved and support mitigation measures protecting space and ground assets. It will definitely support the freedom of action in space as a cornerstone of future challenges in this domain. I am convinced that the contribution will significantly enhance NATO's situational awareness in space and boost the coordination, cooperation and data sharing across the Alliance. It is our common interest to encourage and support space initiative not only in terms of political declarations, but also in terms of operational realities on the ground. And uh, I'm really convinced that the space strategy of NATO uh, is one of the, was, was one of the important, most important decisions that NATO made in, in the last years. And it's really perfect for my country to help NATO to be more secure and to really have the necessary awareness uh, to, that it must have uh, in the future. So I really want to, dear uh, Giona, Mr. Giona, I, I want to thank you for your collaboration. I want to thank the whole team, also my team, uh, so that we could sign this today. And I really wish us all great success uh, in the future in the space domain. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. Uh, joint statements in English and in French, and then hand them over to your counterparts. Et voilà. Je prends le mien. C'est fait. C'est fait. Merci beaucoup. Merci infiniment. On espère d'avoir.